When it comes to treating wood for boat building or for cottage building, the Finnish people have something they call terva pella olio, which is a mixture of pine tar, boiled linseed oil and benzene. And uh, when I was there making knives with uh, Topi, we uh, thought if you could add beeswax to that mixture, it would make it an even better uh, yeah, treating solution for all kinds of knife handles, hammer handles, leather, all, all types of leather pouches, leather sheaths and all that. So we tried that and it was a great success and uh, today I'd like to show you the recipe for making this universally functional uh, leather and wood treating solution. So first of all we need pine tar. Pine tar uh, is a byproduct of making coal from uh, resinous woods. You can find it in uh, hunting supply stores, you can find it in boat building stores and you can find it also in ferrier supply stores. Uh, it has uh, antiseptic and uh, antifunginal effect uh, and uh, it protects wood and also you know for example horse hooves and wounds from getting infected with uh, fungi or bacteria. Then we need uh, benzene, you know, just regular cleaning petrol or I think lighter fluid will work too. Then we need uh, boiled linseed oil and we will need beeswax. These are just, you know, lentil shaped beeswax beads. You can buy uh, like uh, tinkering stores and uh, something to mix everything in. So the next thing we need is heat and uh, if you're working with benzene and all that kind of stuff you never want to put it on a direct heat, especially not if you have a gas stove. Um, so for that we're using a water bath. I'm using this big pan because it's easier with the videography so you can see more. Ideally you would use something that is shallower and higher so you get more coverage on your uh, jar. I'm putting that in. And first of all, I'll put in a tablespoon. You know, I, I'm just ballparking that right now. You know, I don't have like an exact recipe. I'll, I'll just go by what works. And I'll put in a big tablespoon of the tar. And maybe actually a little bit more. I'll put in two tablespoons to begin with. So when that tar stood around cool for some time it turns pretty hard and I want to let this stuff get liquid again and I also want to dissolve it with a little bit of benzene. The benzene will later also help to permeate into the wood. You know, if you just mix the linseed oil and the beeswax and all that, you know, it might just stay on the surface. If you put in benzene, it's going to penetrate into the wood. And that's basically what you want. So you get all the more liquid uh, oil and tar and all that penetrating into the wood and the beeswax staying on the outside, making a nice film, protective film. And again, I don't have an exact measurement, I will just, you know, maybe take half a cup of benzene. So probably just equal amounts with the tar. Dissolve it in there. warm up. Let's see how it looks. I 
think I'll put in a little bit more tar so I get a little bit smoother consistency. So now we have three tablespoons of tar and about half a cup of benzene. Already looks quite a lot like a perva pelle they have in Finland. So it is quite liquid, but also a little bit thickened by the pine tar. So now, get this open. I put in the boiled linseed oil and uh, I'm just filling it up about an equal amount. Uh, now I have like maybe a quarter of that jug full of uh, mixture and I'll put another quarter in. So I now mix that. So now we have an oily substance, which is quite black, you know, very, very dark brown to a real black. And now we need to let it warm up. I'll cut the video now so uh, you don't have to wait until it's warm. So I changed my water bath to a higher tide and let the mixture heat up to maybe 40 degrees Celsius. And now I'll start to mix in the beeswax. And uh, I got about one third of the tar and benzene mixture, about one third of the uh, linseed oil. And now I'll add beeswax until it stops dissolving in it or until the last third is full. So I just start with a three finger measure, you know that's maybe a good teaspoon or two and start mixing and I have to get a tablespoon to see if they dissolve. This will certainly have to become a little bit hotter. So now I got about eight tablespoons of beeswax in the mixture and now I need to cool it down and I need to keep stirring while it cools down. And since I don't want to be standing here for hours and hours and hours, I 
I cool it down in ice water. Some salt to make it cooler. And water. Keep stirring it until it's cool and we are looking for a creamy paste like texture like the stuff you would put on your shoes to treat them and while you keep stirring it you will feel it get more and more tough and lose its viscosity So now that it is at room temperature, it should have a cream-like texture to it. And now we can use it to treat handle wood, to treat leather. And uh, I just finished this new knife. It's a Damascus steel knife with a um, bog oak handle. And I'll use the solution now to oil the handle and let's see how that will look. Take a rag, get a little bit of that paste. You see it has that paste texture. And we'll rub it into the handle. The warmth of the friction and my finger are going to uh, make it a little bit more liquid again, which will allow it to soak into the wood, especially because of the benzene. It's going to penetrate into the wood. The benzene is going to evaporate pretty soon and it will leave the oil in the wood and the tar and the wax on top. Of course this will have to be repeated a couple of times before this handle is completely treated. Can also cover the German silver bolsters with it. And let's see how it looks on the blade. Because you also want to protect the steel from rusting and staining. It's not staining the steel at all, it keeps its color. I'm also not putting like a super greasy looking film on it, it's just, you know, transparent and discreet. Now I'll wipe some of the excess off. And look how nicely that brought out the grain of the wood and the dark, dark color of the bog oak. Let me put that into the camera better here. Same goes with curly birch. Now just wipe it down. And if you have a bright wood like this curly birch, it's not going to darken it much. 
you know, although you have that black tar in there, it's only, you know, if you look on the rag, it only has like a honey color in the end. So this handle looks nice and dandy too. And now I'll put some on the sheath. Also really nice, brings out the color of the leather. The oil will moisturize the leather and the wax will protect the leather against water from outside. So you can see how little I just needed to treat two knives and a sheath. I guess this uh, six, five, 625 milliliters, so uh, just a pint, you know, um, is going to last me for a good couple of years. So now have fun to make it yourself. Be careful with, you know, all the fumes that come off of that stuff while you heat it and, you know, working with, yeah, well, chemicals you know, this petrol stuff and all that in your kitchen and have a good time.